A CBS 2 viewer contacted the Morning Insiders about these state of Illinois issued credit cards. Now she says they've been hacked. So we let the Illinois Comptroller know the contractor responsible has a very checkered past. Our Lauren Victory reports the state is now questioning whether it should be doing business with this company. How can they get in my uh, account and I have never used this card before. Annette Barnes is detailing not the first, not the second, but the third time she's been duped by her debit card. And then she was telling me, well, Ms. Barnes, I don't know. I don't, I'm just going to have to cancel this card. Again, Barnes gets paid by the state to babysit through the GO program. They had hacked over like $419 off this card. In July, her money began to mysteriously disappear. Someone siphoned out nearly half her pay in repeated $10.61 increments. So I called and I asked, I said, what are all these charges? They said it's from a, um, a Xbox, Microsoft, that Microsoft. I said, I don't have any uh, of those, uh, I don't use that. A replacement card didn't help. Hackers hit as soon as she activated it. You didn't even take the strip off. I had never took the strip off. She started with $770 this time, but in a matter of hours. The amount was down to uh, like $490. By the time I canceled the card, the uh, amount was down to $294. Barnes is hardly the only way to go card user victimized by fraud. Across the country, we found similar complaints about the system's parent company, Conduent. This 2018 class action lawsuit was filed by a state benefits recipient out of Georgia. The company is currently rocking an F rating by the Better Business Bureau after more than 150 customer complaints. I had it with their system, their system sucked. Yet Illinois continues to hire Conduent. State contracts show we're on track to pay the company nearly $54 million for three years of service. Our investigation indicate that for its part, Conduent's GO program appears to have an entire department dedicated to fraud, but we cannot confirm that fraud occurred. At least in Barnes' case, the company won't accept responsibility. Lauren Victory, CBS 2 News. The class action lawsuit against Hunt Conduent claims that the company conducts sham investigations and improperly denies claims of fraud. A Conduent spokesperson says the company strongly denies those allegations. A spokesperson for the Illinois Department of Human Services tells us that the company went through a competitive bidding process that included questions about security protocols. But because of our report, the Comptroller's office, which pays the bills for the state, is now looking into the future of business with Conduent.